Call Me One Hundred One. Going to do another review, and it seems like this is the most popular toy out there for the new well, release, I guess you call it, is the Flingers. Uh, I got that different version of the Flingers that I want to throw. So this one shoots. Now I know some of you are probably looking at it like, hmm. And the first thing that popped out of my head was he reminds me of the Fighting Gears series mixed with the Pizza Tossin uh, Turtles. And the Pizza Tossin Turtles came out in the 90s when they actually do the same thing. They shoot the pizza out of their stomach. The only difference is the face is all like jagged up, all like twisted and everything. And the reason why I said um, Fighting Gears is because of the armor. So, uh, in my opinion, seriously, because I just did a Don Cello one. I don't know if you haven't seen it yet. Go and check it out. I prefer this armor better than this one because this doesn't make any sense. They have the headlights on his chest. It's kind of, kind of weird. And like I said before, this one reminds me of a newer version of Triple Strikes, the Fast Force series, the toys, because uh, they all of them they actually do the whole shooting thing. The only difference is you squeeze your legs to fire. This one you had to roll it back and forth. Um, I love the flingers. If you're thinking, like, should I, should I not buy them? Believe me, people. If you have a good imagination and you still love to do the whole fire thing with the turtles and everything, the flingers are actually pretty cool. The Mutant and Ooze one, the series for that, they're pretty cool. Um, I did a review of the Ooze. I'm pretty sure you've already seen it. And while I was doing ooze, I decided to bring in um, Toss and Leo, so I actually throw the ooze and, well, got my camera on top of it, not on the front of this lens, which was kind of good. But, if I had to pick, seriously, if I had to pick one, I would have to be to say the flingers are the best ones, because this, the face, the way it's shaped, it's also a pretty big size for a toy. Um, and it's fun, because you actually can fire at, the, at your uh, enemies. So, um... Let's get an extra, extra close up to this one and enjoy this review. Alright, as you can see, the original size of Michelangelo compared to the newer version. Not only that, watch this. Look at the other flinger out. He's still the smallest, so you can see that there is a different size. Which I love about the new toys because. They're not going to be the same size, not going to be the same color, not going to be the same armor, nothing. It's going to be totally different because you never know what's going to, what they're going to look like next. But for this one, as you can see, his uh, shoulder pads are so much better than this one over here. I don't think they put too much effort on the Donatello one, but they put a lot of uh, imagination on Michelangelo. And you can see it, it's such a strapped over his uh, baseball, um, what do you call it? I'm not much of a baseball person, but you know what I'm talking about. And this is where I uh, shoots out of the pizza. And I love his reaction on his face. And those of you who would like to take off their heads and put on, a, um, put on these ones, these will not fit because, you know, you know he's a smaller body while a big head, which you probably do it anyways because it's funny. Alright, so the back part, he has a little, um, kind of like a backpack. It's where you shoot it out, but... Oh, wait, before I forget, do 2012 Viacon, and on the back part, you have to um, open this up, and that's where you put the pizza in there. It's like a long tube in the middle, and you put like 10 pizzas in there, and that's where you start firing with this. It only works on the right side, you just put a slide back, forth, or whatever to start firing, which I will show you later. But you do have to put this back on if you want to fire because it will shoot back reverse, which is kind of funny because it fires back at you. And so I just hold it down so it won't fire back at. Uh, the shoulder pads are right here. The shoulder pads right here are very rubbery. It's not like plastic where it can rip really easily. Um, the head part is kind of like a little rubber plastic kind of filled together. Of course, this is rubber. This is a little plastic right here, but until you get right here to his hand part, it kind of has like that rubber feel to it. And when you fire that, she's like shooting, like he's grabbing his, like a ninja sword and throwing him right at you. All this is all plastic. Of course, it's not fully painted. 
But I love his reaction. I love the the face on uh, the Flingers version better than the other ones. But that ones are some of my favorite too. So yes, like I said, it comes with ten small pizza. well the light is down here but like I said underneath it is our little wheels so when you push it he shoots I don't know if you can see it so these are a lot of fun. I love shooting things. And as you see, when he fires, his arm goes out. Like I said before, it looks like he's shooting ninja stars. Now, the fun part. Put it in the back. Now, I'm pretty sure you already can see it by now. Pizza are not painted, like it says. No small pizza. Probably, uh, I think it's a little bit inch bigger than a penny. Let's see. Let me find a cover. As you can see, the pizza are actually painted here. Not these. So, like I said, reverse the back. Check this out. As you can see. I don't know if you can see it from the light. There's a little tube in there. Put it in this way, having a piece of facing up. So this is for uh, to load. And that's when you put the cover in. <clears throat> so, yeah. As you can see, the back part is silver. Compared on this, it's just like a golden yellow kind of mustard color. So the silver. Over here, his his still toe, and his hand has like that. You know, the where it wraps around his fingers. It's painted. And of course, this is not painted. There is that. So, yeah, I don't know why they. I don't know. I seriously don't understand what's going on with the painting part. But still, it's a lot of fun, people. If you like, I say, if you work past the whole painting thing, and or you can paint yourself. Like I know some people are out there painting themselves. This is a lot of fun, people. I'm. I am not kidding. But. Like I said, the legs do not move whatsoever. The arms, of course, moves, as you can see. This only moves by itself, like you can move it for yourself. As you can see, it moves from the elbow part, it does not move from the hand. And you see the little line right here. So it moves outward. And the only weapon it comes with is just the pizza. Nothing more. No nunchucks. Nothing. You could probably put it in his hand with the original one. But like I said, if you're having a little trouble thinking, nah, should I buy them? Should I not buy them? You know what? Feel free to buy it. You know, these things are really freaking cool. Oh, and um, in case you were wondering know what the cover looks like. Let me see. Fingers, Michelangelo. Yeah, it's true. It's like a um, office space, you know, it's where I go eat and eat at Flingers. Which I'm going to find that place. I know it's here in California. So it has a front cover. Directions how to use the turtle toy, like how to put the pizza in, like I just showed you. Directions. And booklets look like, you know, coming soon, next spring or fall or whatever. And it shows you, like, the ooze, and it shows you 
like which guns are coming out like snake weed batch of stock is coming out uh, later on after that that's when letterhead comes out and don't forget bebop and rock State is coming out too for the classics some people said it looks like crap because you know I'm sorry the angle is just a face you can't really see them very well but if you watch a video of it I guarantee you they look really awesome. They made Bebop look like he's snorting and Bebop growling. If you find a, the side face or the upper look of the Bebop rock saying, believe me people, they look very awesome. I can't wait to review it and add it to my collection. Alright, so yes, that's my little small review of the Flingers Michelangelo. Um, if you need to, like I said, if you need to pick which one you want, which one is what, which one you like better, you like the Flingers, you like the Ooze um, series, uh, check my other review on the Ooze series. See if you like it. If not, um, hopefully you'll like the Flingers. I, um, I like the Flingers a lot more. This is my first choice. Then it goes to my uh, Ooze series because this one is a lot more fun. You can actually shoot at your villains, fire at them. Uh, there's, there's two different versions of these. Um, I see, Leonardo does the same thing like Michelangelo, but he's in different armor and he shoots out sewer lids. <coughs> Excuse me. And there's another one like Don Tell was Raphael, but he shoots his side at you. Um, so like I said, they're both twice the size and they're different shapes. I will try my best to uh, save up more money. Um, me and my girlfriend will go back down and find uh, some more series of the Turtles and buy another Flingers or the Ooze when I do review on that. Um, Hopefully these um, reviews help you to choose which one you like better and which you want to go out there and buy more turtle toys like I do. Oh, and the plush turtle toys are back. They're already in stores. They're more softer than the 2K version. It's like the original ones, but more upgraded. So cute, really adorable looking things. So, uh, yes, add this to your collection, people. Uh, the flingers are, in my opinion, are completely awesome. Great detail. Let's work around the painting part. Uh, the idea of the, in the imagination area is fantastic. So bring it back to old school and put it into the new school, people, and mix it all around. So until then, take care of yourself and happy haunting, everybody. All right, so <clears throat> excuse me. So I got something from my friend right here. He told me there's a really cool eBay villain <clears throat> in 1988. Tim and T uh, letterhead figure. Asking for this one for twenty dollars and for fifty eight for shipping. Uh, the dude's right here. This is the person who's selling it. Are you ready for this? Their head with no head. Let's see. Yeah, there's no head to litter head. <clears throat> litter not head, but yeah, well, pretty bad. This is like the most rip off thing I have ever seen in my life. Um, yeah, put your comments down, people. Tell me what you guys think about this. Oh, yeah, here's the rest of it. Oh. Pretty, pretty pathetic, if you ask me.